Good morning from Antarctica. We are on day number five of our Polar Latitudes photo voyager and it is about 8 a.m. and very very overcast. Our sort of low pressure system continues but it's not that cold which is nice and we've got like a really sort of light soft rain um, coming down and it is good conditions for abstract photography and I want to try something very different. I've been inspired by uh, Rachel Talibart and by Simon Baxter, who's been my roommate throughout the whole trip, um, to do things, you know, a little bit more detailed and a little bit outside of the norm for me. So we're gonna try that in this video. I'm gonna share with you some textures and some really unique close-ups, and you be the judge or the like the guessing game of what you think that these photos are. And that all starts right now. Let's go. <laughs> Every day, we gotta go through this uh, cleaning um, disinfectant. And that is to prevent avian bird flu, which I went into a lot in the last video, 10,000 penguins plus a leopard seal. Go and check that out. And uh, now, we're getting on to the Zodiacs to go cruising, see what we can find. I'm really hoping for uh, some whales, possibly some porpoising penguins and definitely some uh, some abstracts. So, see what we can get. This is very new for me. Not sure how well it's gonna turn out. So we are on the water here and we have a beautiful iceberg just behind us with some really, really nice sort of deep blue colors. And this is a great opportunity to try and get some unique abstracts. So something that I've seen from a number of the people on the boat already the first few days is taking out the long lens telephoto, 7200, 100 to 400, 200 to 600, and focusing on different like aspects of the ice. And the results are outstanding. So I didn't really think to do that you know i'm shooting it at maybe like 24 to 105 utilizing the iceberg as an anchor for the frame or trying to get the reflection in the water uh, but i've been so inspired by those abstracts that i take out only the 100 to 400 today on the sony a7 IV to try and get a couple of those really unique abstracts and this iceberg is uh it's a great subject to do so our way back to the ship and this is a great example of how quickly the weather can change here in Antarctica. 
it has started snowing and we've still got this really low cloud and this beautiful foggy mist off in the distance creating a very ethereal scene and it really lends perfectly to the subject of this video for our abstract photos and this beautiful ice floating here in Fournier Bay. But it's time for us now to head back to the ship. We've got our midday pause, lunch, another talk about photography, I believe. And then we're off this afternoon to a uh, chinstrap penguin colony, if the weather allows. Guys, I want to take a moment to introduce Rachel Talabart, and you may have seen her briefly in one of the last videos I introduced you real quick, but uh, she's been the inspiration for today's abstract Antarctica video that I was talking about yesterday. Oh yeah. So can you share just a couple tips on like why you like abstract images so much and sort of what you see? So maybe I can take better ones this afternoon. <laughs> I bet yours were really good already. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, thank you're you. being modest. Um, yeah, I really like doing abstract work because I like the idea then that it's not just, um, you know, here is a picture of an obvious thing. The viewer has to actually think about it and they can interpret it the way they like. Um, we as photographers, we're a bit rubbish at using the word abstract properly. So abstract actually means that it's not representing a recognizable thing, that it's just about pattern and that's abstract so just because it's close up doesn't mean it's abstract we, we get that badly wrong as photographers no so, i love that that's exactly what i was hoping you would say something yeah. because what i have tried to do this morning is kind of get a shape or a pattern yeah. or something that looks cool to the eye but the viewer can't really discern where or what it is but because we're in antarctica you know the idea is that they know it's from here yeah. but but still having like somebody like, I don't know, I, two or three years from now might not have any idea where that yeah. was taken. Yeah, so I've just been working with a client who has really embraced the abstract too. And in, so photographing icebergs, instead of showing the whole iceberg with some sky behind it, he is zooming in and just picking out patterns. And it's really hard because you've still got to have shapes and geometry in the picture that allow the viewer's eye to flow through the mm -hmm. image. Mm -hmm don't want them just to look at it and go oh mess yeah you still need those rules of composition you in do. a sense yeah it's got to look nice to the eye it does. so i hope the photos that you've already seen so far in this video have done that and i'm going to continue looking for that when we get to our next location but i'm going to go on land i think this time and go and Are see you? the penguins yeah okay yeah say hi got... to them for me oh yeah you're gonna I'm, stay I'm, on the water I'm staying on the water yeah you guys have to check out rachel's work i've shared a little bit here in this video but i will link to her website down below and uh, it's just fantastic so we're really happy to have you on board Oh, I'm enjoying it All right. so much. Thank you. Here we you. go. It continues. Bye. 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 It is time for a brief interruption of Abstract Antarctica for a word from our sponsor. And this video is conveniently sponsored by me. And it is because we have had a last minute cancellation, which sounds very negative, but it's actually an opportunity in a sense if you're watching this and haven't skipped over the sponsorship post. The last minute opportunity is for one or two people to join us in Patagonia. So myself and Brendan Van Son are running the next trip, which will be happening in April. And all the details about that awesome adventure can be found in the link in the description. But the most important part about this video is if you want to jump on either one or two of the two spaces that are available, there is a limited amount of time to do so. And it is first come first serve. So if you think that you're uh, up for a last minute adventure, all you need to do is 
send an email to myself and Brendan. I will leave our emails down in the description below and let us know with the uh, special uh, offer code of Greg is my hero or Greg told me to do it in the description of the email and then we will know for sure that uh, that you are interested in taking one of those two spots from this sponsorship post. And now it's time to get back to the video. All right, so plans have changed this afternoon. Sadly, we are uh, no longer going to see the chin straps and uh, Orn Harbor. We're doing another Zodiac cruise, which isn't the end of the world, but uh, that hopefully we get to see some whales. If you guys haven't met any of these guys, this is Julia. Hi, and I'm Julia. Jeff in the background. Julia's from Straya. Straya. Straya Mai. Yeah. Aaron Babnik. Say hi. What's up? I took a ton of photos of Aaron yesterday and have yet to send them to you. All right, we are in Orne Harbor. This is just around the corner from Spigot Peak where the uh, boat has been anchored for the last few hours and the weather has been crazy for the last couple hours. It is on and off and right off the bat when we got off the boat, we saw a whale, I believe it was a humpback whale? Humpback and it dove under this iceberg and the whole boat was just frantically trying to get our uh, focus right. And I believe some of us got a photo, yeah? These guys are giving me the thumbs up back here. So that is a good start. And this is a, a chin strap uh, penguin colony. So Spigot Peak in Antarctica. Again, if you want to know where that is, just look it up in Google Maps and you'll see exactly where we are. Orn Harbor, Spigot Peak, chin strap penguins, beautiful icebergs. And again, a really good opportunity to get some abstract looking photos. I actually think about 20 minutes ago, I got the shot of the day for me and for this video. Very, very happy with it. I haven't seen it on the computer yet, but uh, the amazing rock layers at the base of the penguin colony covered in penguin shit looks absolutely incredible.
Oh my goodness, this weather is insane. Wow. It's snowing in the sun. Snowing in the sun. Amazing. More people here. Woohoo! The sun just came out. I'm checking if I'm overexposed, but it looks good. Uh, the photo voyager here. We are on day number five, as I said at the beginning, and this was just another jam-packed day. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, albeit maybe a little bit long. I've tried to uh, to add in as much as I can of the highlights and a lot of the photographs that I've been able to capture because it's just uh, you're shooting burst mode on these zodiacs, and it seems like one thing after the other after the other. Just these amazing subjects, both landscape and wildlife, with the chin strap penguins today the whale uh, the icebergs of course the cliffs you know it's a really really stunning location and trying to focus on the abstracts was definitely a challenge so you let me know in the comments below if you are uh, I don't know if you like the photos that I share with you I think I probably got like five or six uh, that look good on the back of the screen but you know as photographers that we never know until we get them on the computer and have a chance to edit them up so I'll be editing those photos when I edit this video um, and I hope that I got some nice ones. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Big shout out to Rachel Talibart for being part of this video. She was the inspiration for me when she did her presentation a few days ago here on the ship. I saw the beauty in like sort of abstracts and, and art, uh, fine art photography of waves and of the ocean. And I wanted to try and transcend that for myself here with the landscapes and the beauty of Antarctica. So it's been a crazy awesome day. And uh, thank you as always for watching. And I hope that you enjoyed Enjoying this content from home. So tomorrow, I just heard from the expedition crew that we are going in the polar plunge, jumping into the Antarctic Ocean, which I've been looking forward to uh, for months now, knowing that I was coming down here. And uh, if you don't know, you may or may not know this, but Nelly and I actually own an ice bath. So I have been training some cold water immersion and some cold water therapy. So I'm hoping that I can stay in the water for a couple of minutes. And uh, that is gonna be all in the next video. And the water is bloody cold. It is like less than one degree. So it hovers right around zero, which is intense. So that should be an interesting video. And that's coming up next here on the Antarctica series. So I will see you in that video. Good morning folks, good morning. Time is 7 a.m. Currently cruising down the Beagle Channel. Conditions are beautiful outside. Nice sunny day. You can see some rain off in the distance. But overall looking like it should be a marvelous day out here as we head down towards Antarctica. We see some blows off in the distance. Most likely say whales or fin whales. I believe there's a pod of orcas chasing them. Possibly a leopard seal chasing a penguin just in front of them. And of course, wandering albatross flying all around. Seb will be speaking on the history of uh, human life. That will begin at 9 o'clock. Otherwise, breakfast will be served at 7.30, folks. Have yourselves a good morning.